Major General Sir David Bruce, the 29th of May 1855 in Melbourne, the 27th of November 1931 in London, was a Scottish pathologist and microbiologist who investigated Malta fever, later called brucellosis in his honor, and African trypanosomiasis, sleeping sickness in humans and Nagana in animals. He discovered a protozoan parasite transmitted by insects, later named Trypanosoma brucei after him. Working in the Army Medical Service and the Royal Army Medical Corps, his major scientific collaborator was his microbiologist wife Mary Elizabeth Bruce nay Steele, with whom he published more than 30 technical papers. Biography <inaudible> 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 Early life and education Bruce was born in Melbourne, Australia to Scottish parents, engineer David Bruce from Earth and his wife Jane Russell Hamilton from Stirling, who had emigrated to Australia in the Gold Rush of 1850. He was an only child. He returned with his family to Scotland at the age of five. They lived at 1 Victoria Square in Stirling. He was educated at Stirling High School and in 1869 began an apprenticeship in Manchester. However, a bout of pneumonia forced him to abandon this and reassess his career. He then decided to study zoology but later changed to medicine at the University of Edinburgh in 1876. He graduated in 1881. Medical career After a brief period as a general practitioner in Reigate, Surrey 1881 where he met and married his wife Mary, he entered the Army Medical School in Hampshire at the Royal Victoria Hospital, Netley. He qualified the military examination in 1883 and joined the Army Medical Services and served till 1919. For his first post he joined the Royal Army Medical Corps in 1884 and was stationed in Valletta, Malta. Bruce was appointed Assistant Professor of Pathology at the Army Medical School in Netley in 1889, and served there for five years. He returned to military field service in 1894 and was posted to Pietermaritzburg, Natal, South Africa. He was assigned to investigate the case of cattle and horse sickness called Nagana in Zululand. On 27 October 1894, he and his wife moved to Ubombo Hill, where the disease was most prevalent. When the Second Boer War broke out in 1899, accompanied by his wife, he ran the field hospital during the Siege of Ladysmith, 2 November 1899 until 28 February 1900. For his service during the war he was promoted to lieutenant colonel. In 1900, he joined the Army Commission investigating dysentery in military camps, at the same time working for the Royal Society's Sleeping Sickness Expedition. Bruce served as a member of the Army Medical Service Advisory Board from 1902 to 1911. In 1914 he became commander of the Royal Army Medical College, the position he held until his retirement as a major general in 1919. He was immediately appointed chairman of the governing body of the Lister Institute. During his career he published more than 97 technical articles, of which about 30 of them were co-authored by his wife. Death He died four days after his wife in 1931, during her memorial service. Both were cremated in London and their ashes are buried together in Valley Cemetery in Stirling, close to Stirling Castle, beneath a simple stone cross on the east side of the main north-south path, near the southern roundel. They had no children. Topic. Scientific contributions At the time of his service in Malta, British soldiers suffered an outbreak of what was called the Malta fever. 
In 1886, he led the Malta Fever Commission that identified the organism that caused the fever as a bacterium Micrococcus melitensis, later renamed Brucella melitensis. Themistocles Zamet, one of the members of the commission, discovered the cause of the fever in 1905. Bruce discouraged the experiments being carried by Zamet, and doubted his ability as a microbiologist. Eventually, when he learned of the positive results linking the fever with unpasteurized goat milk, Bruce tried to discredit the role of Zamet and take credit to himself. To a certain extent he succeeded, as it was renamed after him as brucellosis, however information about the role of Zamet has eventually surfaced. When he was transferred to South Africa, Bruce was sent to Zululand in 1894 to investigate the outbreak of cattle disease which the native called Nagana. In 1903, he identified the causative protozoan, and tsetse fly vector, of African trypanosomiasis sleeping sickness. He was Surgeon General for the duration of the First World War from 1914 to 19 at the Royal Army Medical College, Millbank, London. Brucella is the genus and Brucellaceae is the family of the bacteria which was named after him, in recognition of his discoveries. Brucella melitensis is the cause of undulant fever in man and of abortion in goats. It is usually transmitted by goat's milk. Trypanosoma brucei, the cause of sleeping sickness, is also named after him. Topic honors and awards Bruce was elected a Fellow of the Royal Society in 1899. He served as editor of the Journal of the Royal Army Medical Corps between 1904 and 1908. He was the recipient of the Cameron Prize of Edinburgh University in 1901. He received the Royal Society's Royal Medal in 1904, the Mary Kingsley Medal in 1905, and the Stuart Prize of the British Medical Association. He was Croonian Lecturer at the Royal College of Physicians in 1915. He was awarded the Leeuwenhoek Medal in 1915, created a Companion of the Bath CB in the 1905 Birthday Honours, knighted in 1908 and upgraded to a Knight Commander of the Bath KCB in 1918. He was President of the British Science Association during 1924-1925. Bruce's name features on the frieze of the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. 23 names of public health and tropical medicine pioneers were chosen to feature on the school building in Keppel Street when it was constructed in 1926.